Parker from Peach Software. Uh, today I want to go over an old video uh, which is importing data into your system. A lot of people have asked about this, especially now with more installs being done remotely. Um, customers are able to import a lot of data uh, as and when they wish. Uh, it's very, very simple. It's called XLS Import. It's from the task menu and uh, here's the icon here. So before I show you how we're going to import data, I'll just show you first of all how to prepare your Excel spreadsheet to be imported. As you know, there are a few places in Peach Software you can actually export your data from. So I'm going to use those as examples of, uh, of creating a spreadsheet so then we can import it back into the system. Uh, so uh, a couple of places you can get your data out of Peach Software into a spreadsheet. First of all, from the browse screen, you can use your export uh, Excel here. So you can filter down your products, get the columns you want, and then export the data. Uh, or if you wish, uh, you can just uh, do a report and the report can be run as an Excel spreadsheet. So here's a report I did earlier, and I'm gonna show you how to clean that up, import that data into Peach Software using XLS import. So it's important that we get the headings correct, uh, ready to be imported. Uh, first of all, we need to get rid of any uh, columns or, row or rows that we don't need, uh, also totals. Uh, and then we'll change a few details in the spreadsheet uh, so it's ready to import. And then I can show you how the import Excel works. So let's uh, just, just quickly do that. So we don't need these three headings up here. It's just the part description, etc. So we'll just highlight those and we'll delete. Oh, just cut those out. Sorry, just delete the lines. There we go. So now our column headings are at the top. Uh, we don't need the, um, the title of each of the there we go, so now we've got our part, our headings and we've got our first part number in the second row. Uh, then uh, we'll just go down the bottom and get rid of the totals. And so essentially that's ready to import, but let's just check the headings first. So what we'll do is we'll go back to Peach and we'll go to our XLS import. So uh, we'll just go to any of the headings for the task menu, over to admin, and then XLS import. Now in XLS import, you can import just more than the product file. Uh, so if you just drop down this box here, you can see you, you can import products, customers, suppliers. Uh, you can import into the consignment area, into the alternates area, uh, the prod pack area. So many places you can import data into Peach software. Uh, we're just gonna look at the product this time. But if you want to do any of those others and you have some questions about that, please feel free to give us a call before you try. So I'm going to select product in this case. And then as soon as I've done that, uh, it's now going to give you a link to load the Excel file. So we're not ready to do that yet. What I want to show you here is the headings. Now you don't have to have all these columns in your spreadsheet, but they do need to be spelt exactly the same way. Uh, if you wanted to get a copy of the structure of the product file in this case, uh, then you can just click export and that will open it up in a spreadsheet just with the headings and you can print that out for future reference. But as it is now, uh, we can simply scroll across and you can see all those headings across the top there and we can make sure our spreadsheet agrees with all those headings. So let's go back to our spreadsheet for a moment and up here. So. From my experience, I know that part is correct. Description in the import uh, is a DESC. So, sorry, DSCR. And then group code is correct, subgroups correct. Uh, supplier is prefsup. Uh, location is correct. Uh, in stock quantity, well we can't import in stock quantity of course because that's going to ruin our, um, our accounting. So we'll just delete that column. Uh, last cost, average cost, we can't import uh, average cost. So we'll get rid of that. And total value, we don't need that. So delete that. So there you go. So now that 
is ready to bring in. So what I want to do now is I want to change some information. So um, we'll just type in here that that product, I've changed the information on that product as far as the description is concerned. Um, we'll put this in uh, that same group as the one above it. And um, location, we'll put in um, A, B, C, one, two, three. Let's do that. And let's do that to one of these other ones as well. So what we're doing is not importing new data, but we're actually importing data that's been changed. Um, so there you go. And it's got the part number. So I've set that up so that we're going to see some changes, but we also want to add a new product into our system. So I just type in U123, and for the purpose of this video, new product. We'll put it into AC group, air filters, preferred supplier. We'll give it a 103, and location. BBB333, last cost $12. Okay, so let's save that now. Now, a little bit of uh, information about saving your file. When you save it, save it as an Excel, that's fine. Uh, but let's put it somewhere where it's easy to find. So I'm going to put mine on the desktop. So uh, we'll go save as. We'll choose the desktop. And I'm just going to call it Product Details XLS, that's fine with me. So save that. And now we're ready to bring that file into Peach software. So here we are back in Peach, and I'm going to look for that file now. So load Excel. I think that, there we go. There we are. Right, okay. And uh, we're on the desktop already, so our file should be here somewhere. There it is, Product Details. Open. And there you can see the uh, information that's come in. So you can see where we've actually changed information here. Uh, in blue, you see parts that have been added new. In orange, you can see parts where information has changed. And here it will show you which columns the information has changed in. So it's pretty interactive. And at this point in time, you haven't imported anything yet. Uh, but it's... Um, it's asking you what you want to do about those changes. So um, what we can do down here, if you like, you might have a lot more part numbers than that, of course. So you can just filter it down by parts that are added. So it's just going to show you those so you can review those separately. Uh, and also parts that have been changed. There they are. So again, you can review those separately. Uh, or we can select all lines. So now you'll notice that some of these don't have ticks on them. Uh, that is the ones that have been not changed at all. So they're not going to be imported into the system. No need to. They're exactly the same as what's in there already. And all we need to do now is click import uh, or update, sorry. So um, let's do that. And then we have a choice of only import existing records where they've been changed, only import new records, or import all the records. So let's just go all records and success and now that information is in Peach software and it's updated the product file. So it is really as simple as that. Um, sometimes you may get a message uh, which for example uh, one typical one that I get sometimes is if I've got a duplicate part number in my spreadsheet it'll give me a warning and tell me that I can't import it. It'll tell me which part numbers are duplicated so I can go through, I can clean that up and then I can import the information. So if for any reason uh, you're trying to import information into Peach and it doesn't work for you, give us a call. There's normally a, a good reason why and uh, we can help you out with that. So there you are. Have a nice day and uh, talk to you again. Please call Peach Support if you have any problems. Thanks for watching. Bye.